The Caribbean Hurricane Awareness Tour makes its way through the Caribbean region. Our One Caribbean News, DeAndre Hamilton, has more from its stop at the Turks and Caicos Islands and the important message leaders want to get across. It is a big investment and a big undertaking. Planning and carrying out the Caribbean Hurricane Awareness Tour, which this year included Mexico, the Cayman Islands, and the Dominican Republic, before landing at the Provo Air Center in the Turks and Caicos Islands this past Friday. While the event was bucket list worthy, it was also very serious with a mission to raise awareness among those in the hurricane belt of the Atlantic Basin. Jamie Rohn, Deputy Director of the National Hurricane Center, was adamant about keeping our guards up. But El Nino will not stop hurricanes from forming and will not stop them from threatening communities. So please do not fall victim to letting your guard down. Storms during the season can cause property damage in the billions, uprooting and many times claiming lives. I want you to think about the elderly. We're seeing an increase loss of life after storms due to the loss of power and the oppressive heat that often comes after these events. So I want you to think about these things. I want you to think beyond the immediate and what's obvious and really challenge yourself. The Turks and Caicos Islands Airports Authority hosted the crew from NOAA and the U.S. Air Force with the governor and others using the opportunity to welcome the guests, applaud the initiative, and reassure residents that hurricane preparedness never gets old. I hope that everyone will find today's event very informative and that it will lead a charge to you to ensure that you are properly prepared. It serves as a testament to the importance of collaboration and unity in our quest to safeguard our beloved Caribbean from the ravages of powerful hurricanes. I appreciate you guys coming in and sharing your expertise with us. So let's get all of their knowledge. Final stop for the tour was Puerto Rico. DeAndre Hamilton reporting.